Next we're going to do goniometry measures at the elbow joint. First one that we're going to do is uh, fl flexion. We're going to have her in a supine position with her arm uh, basically in anatomical position. The elbow is extended and the uh, forearm is pronated uh, with the palm facing the ceiling. We're, we're also going to put a towel uh, underneath her, um, her humerus, again just to uh, make it easier to uh, read so it doesn't get in the way of the goniometry measurement. Uh, the uh, fulcrum for this one is going to be on the uh, lateral epicondyle and the uh, stationary arm is going to be parallel to the floor and the moving arm is going to be uh, in line with the uh, uh, ulna using the styloid process kind of as a, as a guide. Okay, once we have that, go ahead and bend your elbow a little bit so I can find it. There we go. Okay. Okay, go ahead and flex it. Again, at the end, you just want to make sure that these are all parallel, the fulcrum is on, and this is in line with your ulna, and normal reading for this is uh, 140 degrees. Thank you. Next, we're going to do goniometry measurement for the forearm pronation. We're going to have her uh, elbow at her uh, flexed at 90 degrees at her side. And we're also going to have her holding a pen or a, a pencil in her hand and a closed fist. We're also going to use a smaller goniometer for this. Our fulcrum, fulcrum is going to be in line with the uh, third metacarpal. The stationary arm is going to be perpendicular to the table or ground. And then the moving arm is going to be uh, parallel or aligned with the uh, pen or pencil that she's holding. Um, so once we have that, we're going to have her um, go ahead and go into pronation. And again, just making sure that all of your landmarks are parallel here and perpendicular here to the floor. And then the norm average reading for this would be about 80 degrees. Next we're going to do supination. Uh, using the same thing, 90 degrees of elbow flexion, and then she's going to be holding a pen or pencil in her closed fist. Again, we're going to align this to the uh, third uh, metacarpal. Stationary arm is going to be parallel, per, excuse me, perpendicular to the floor or table, and then the moving arm is going to be um, parallel to the uh, pen or pencil that she's holding. And then I'm going to go ahead and ask her to do um, supination. Again, this should be perpendicular to the floor, and this should be in line with the third metacarpal, and this should be parallel to the, the pen. And the average, again, is uh, 80 degrees. 